It's all right. No, please. That's what it's there for. I was just doing a bit of cutaway. It's only to be. It's only to be photographed. Yeah, it's, never, it's, <laughs> not, it's not plugged in, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> is this one of your compositions? Yes, yeah, what I did last night. We wrote, cool. we wrote this last night, me and Daniel. I went to Bermondsey to his flat because yep. we're doing different location every time. As you yep. know, you helped we're us in three. three. We're in three. I'm going to try and go in another one of your rooms. I wanted to talk to you about that. I didn't know about Late, later on. Yeah. I'm going to get Daniel back. We're, still, we're trying to do each different writing session in a different space mm. uh, for the vibe. Yeah. You know, just we don't know what the vibe is, but it's, it's definitely different every time we go somewhere different. Do you want the... Do you want that off? I don't mind. It's going to stop. It's, sorry, just it's, stop. it's, lowering, oh, okay. it's lowering its Oh, it's doing it perfectly. <laughs> Your is this, wish. Is it my magic? <laughs> Available for commissions. As long as it's not on loop. Yeah, I, uh, this room was built for me in 92. Right. Uh, when, when this whole side was just post-rave, it yeah. was a total mess, this warehouse. There's nothing else in it. Yeah. Just these three pods. Right. And... Um, uh, uh, Biff and Matt were next door. Spice Girls made their legendary first album in the room next door, um, and uh, Phil and Ian were at the end from from uh, PWL. Yeah. And, and and yeah, we moved in, and I had a great time here, and I loved it, and I loved the vibe, and everyone's always been awesome. Yeah. And it's a magic place. I'd worked here in the eighties already, and then I don't know a long time ago now, the rent went up quite a lot. Right. It's still going up actually. Yeah. But the rent went up quite a lot, and I just thought, fuck, I can't manage this business yeah. model, and so I went to. Um, working out of my home from private mixing yeah. and then renting white rooms when I needed it. Yeah. But, but, and then I came back here actually uh, for a couple of months. I rented an office, uh, yeah. which is now the studio manager's office down right. the end, uh, to do some music in because I needed a space. And this room became available. Oh, that's and Phil, Phil, who was studio manager then, said, oh, by the way, Gareth, your room, nice. it's still referred to <laughs> as my room apparently, became available. So I was like, ah, okay. And I do love having a yeah. studio. You know, and it's a it's a a great uh, uh, environment here. You know, yeah. it's it's super supportive. I guess that's everything that goes with it, isn't it? It's like because because strongly as you said, it's a special place. It's like everything around. You know, you've got your own vibe in here, but you walk outside and you're instantly amongst people. And yeah, uh, the the you know, there's a core team of people on staff at Strong Room Studio. I mean, I'm we're, I'm friends with the bar people, right. but there's a different. That's a, they appreciate being in a music space yeah. as well, but. But the core, I'm talking about the Strong Room Studio core yeah. team. It's uh, it's just really good relationships, and yeah. over the years we've done different projects together, and you know we help each other out where we can. They help me out more probably than I help them out. <laughs> but you know, it's uh, and that's really uh, valuable to me. I feel that I need my own little shed. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's a super professional shed. Mm. It's about the minimum that I could do professionally, so I feel it's not overindulgent. It's right. challenging sometimes. I'm freelance. Yeah. Sometimes a 3 months no work, I think. Ooh. Yeah, no that. But, you know, it's, uh, but it's always been worth it. But do you, and do you find it having done the home thing, do you find that going to a place even if you don't call it to work, it is actually you're taking yourself out of the home and putting yourself into that mindset? Uh Part, yeah, that's a one part of it. The ma the other super great part is uh, inviting clients here. Yeah. Because um, a lot of my commissioned work is mixing, right. and uh, I, where possible, I invite the clients to come, the artists or the clients, yeah. whoever it is, to come at the end of the mixing if they can't come for the whole period to do the final tweaks. Mm. You know, and people come from all over the world, of course, that's because brilliant. they make the effort, mm. and they're very welcome when they are here. And obviously, Shoreditch is uh, you know unfeasibly fashionable now so and, and clients coming in for a short time love that as well yeah. you know so so that's been the huge bonus for me because when I was working out my house I was very private yes I think I had one uh, artist friend who's a dear friend who I've known for decades yeah. came and worked with me in my home otherwise it was me and and my wife and the cats you know it wasn't for client but yeah. this is client super client friendly and you did know. you find while you were there, people were, were pushing to come and attend, or was it at a time? Uh, well, I took when 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 we wanted to have attended mixing, then I went. I rented right, a white room, yeah. you know. But that was nothing like. No. It, it worked, yeah. but it was never anything like this. Yeah, know. it's just being able yeah. to walk in. It's your yeah, space. Yeah, it's set isn't up, it? and, I, and the, the monitors are uh, every, quite a lot of people are f getting very uh, attached to the DSP corrected monitoring now. There's yeah. a lot of sonar works in this room, and Genelec yeah. with the yeah. DSP correction. And uh, obviously, these are I've, I've, I've measured the monitors and tuned yeah. them, and I know it's, it works. And it yeah. works for me, but also it works for clients. It sounds reasonably like mm. it should. So that's really good too. It's, uh, you know, 
Yeah, because I mean that's that's one thing that I think people don't don't tend to realise is it's it's all about people and communication. I really love it when people come and attend mixes. It's like it far outweighs any anything that you think, oh god, you know that might be tough to pull off. But when they're there, it's that instant communication. I yeah. find MP3s and yeah, it's a huge time saver, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally. A huge time saver, especially for. T- but also, I mean, yeah, it's always good to have the vibe in in yeah. the room, obviously. And I like to do. I I, I avoid doing interviews by Skype or email mm. if I possibly can anyway now because it's I'd rather we could just got yeah. together for an hour um, but uh, also um, uh, you know at the end of mixing when a lot of it's about small tweaks because yeah. either we've hit the target roughly or not and yeah. the gig's over but if we've hit the target roughly small tweaks go so quick when yeah. someone says something as simple as a bit more reverb yeah. I mean in, in 10 seconds we've done it exactly but on, 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 on with remote it might take Ten hours exactly because yeah. you might no no not no. that much reverb <laughs> yeah. no the other reverb the other you know. type <laughs> yeah you know yeah. etc yeah. so that's great it is great and it's big enough yeah look there's four of us in here now yeah and it's big enough for four people five at a push yeah. you know so yeah it, it, it's real it's really great the the and also there's you know I've been working in Shoreditch since the late seventies when I built the garden studio for, yeah. when I was working for John Fox. Or I helped yeah. I help build it. Obviously, studio builders built it. I did soldering basically, yeah. and helped. But and then it was like derelict and super cheap. And and it does. It is the way the air is transformed. Like anything in life, has ups and downsides. Mm. It's really great that it's so vibrant because it keeps you like in touch with reality. Mm. You're like in a space full of real people, mm. and a lot of the work we make is for people to listen to. Mm. You know, it's it's not just for the seagulls and the, yes. and, and the pigeons you know it's for us yeah. to listen to so so that's kind of quite positive when you go outside yeah. it was a bit of a culture shock as it got busier for me yeah. actually when when, when uh, you go out now sometimes the streets are like it's Friday nights ridiculous in Shoreditch yeah. you know but it's still you feel oh actually it's a re- it's kind of one part of the real yeah. world and that, that double edged sword I mean at least now finally the 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 sword that was hanging over the place with those developers, that that's finally got one, and you know the place is safe again from like the business being impacted. That's a massive victory for yeah. for Strong Room. With, with the de- uh, with the developers yeah, next door, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had two, didn't they? Because they had the air thing. Yeah, as well. that, that's a that's a victory. Um, nothing is promised in life, is no, it? Uh, but... uh, you know, I understand that uh, rates have just gone up massively. Yeah, all this impacts everyone's yeah. bottom line. You know, I understand that. Hackney Council is squeezed by central government mm. and they've got services they need to provide. Yeah. So I kind of pay the extra rates with mm. a generous heart, I hope. Yeah. But obviously at some stage, it becomes uh, too much for people. Yeah. You know? So it could still happen. But just because of the general gentrification of the area, yeah. naturally pushes rents up, yeah. doesn't it? The landlord is still reasonably accommodating. Yeah, there, that's really good. I guess, you know, Richard's got a very long yeah. relationship, I believe, with the landlord. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, brilliant. Uh, it's, it's good, yeah. So, so what's um, what's your typical um, kind of work you're doing at the moment? Is it very much electronic ambient stuff, or are you? Or is that I, just your pleasure at the moment? I'm for... doing a collaborative project with an old friend of mine. Yeah. I'm also working on my own electronic music uh, project. The the module has become a great mode of musical expression yeah. for me because I like the voyage of discovery with yeah. it. I don't. I make. I build a process and explore the process, Brilliant. and it presents something to me. You know. At uh, the start of this year, I said I wanted to do a personal body of work myself. Yeah. Uh, the universe was listening, I think, and it stopped sending me gigs. Oh, nice. So, <laughs> so that's quite good as yeah. a freelancer, because obviously, uh, you know, when work arrives, I do it. Yeah. So uh, I've taken advantage of this gap to yeah. really uh, explore further and, and build up my own playlist yeah. of, uh, of music. You know, I'm doing um, a uh, project with... Uh, a friend in America where we're, uh, uh, he's uh, not as old as me, but he's a musician from the 80s right. who did really weird off the wall electronic pop in the 80s. We found a young singer who lives in Berlin and oh, we're wow. refreshing his catalogue and rebuilding it. Oh, cool. That's kind of ongoing, that's going to take two or three years here yeah. and there. Uh, and after, I'm, uh, when I get, I'm going uh, hiking next week for a week. When I get back, I'm going to Wesson, to this island off France where Jan Tiersen has a home and a studio. Yeah. And we're recording and mixing his uh, new album there. Oh, that's brilliant. So that's an awesome, awesome space he's built. Yeah. And uh, I love the family and, you know, it's a great vibe. So. Yeah, it's, all, it's just all about people, isn't it? Yeah. yeah you, you start realising later in life how much that is important. So, yeah. I've been lucky 
in, in uh, the huge majority of my clients have, have been really wonderful people. Yeah. Like a lot of artists, I suppose, if you're making art yeah. and it's kind of moving along yeah. slowly. Obviously, we all have our ups and downs, but uh, and a lot of people are... You know, uh, like I don't know the classic taxi driver conversation. If the taxi, <laughs> not that I use taxis much because I'm a cyclist, but yeah. taxi drivers. You know, they say, "Oh, that must be a good job." And I say, well, "It depends on the people. It's like yeah, any job. Yeah. You know, if the people are awesome, it's wonderful." You know? Yeah. So and it takes time to build up relationships with people, and then once everybody's in the same boat, then it's like you know, it all it all starts to gel and and move forward with flow, which is really important. That has, I do still have some clients like that where we've done more than one project together. Right. I think the world's changed a lot, that everyone's so accessible now. Yeah. When I started in the 80s, if you made a good record with someone, you'd almost certainly make the next two or three yeah. good records with them. That's definitely not the case anymore, no. because everything's so open and people are very exploratory, mm. which is great as well. It know. is, and it's something to not be frightened of as well, yeah. I think. you know, It's like you said, the universe answered your, your prayer, and you'd like, that was it, you've, you've got a year or so, or whatever, free to work on your own stuff. Yeah. It's probably embracing that is really important, because yeah. it's like some people would be like, oh God, what, what do I do next? I've got to grab these projects. But if you actually go... It's going to happen, you know. Yeah. I'm just going to be free to let the ideas flow. I think it's a much more um, sensible way of looking at it, you know. It's much yeah. more healthy. Yeah, it's, it's certainly more healthy. Yeah. Uh, because uh, we have to, uh, you know, freelance work means that you, uh, yeah. most of us, uh, uh, ride these yeah, waves. Yeah, totally. You know, yeah. and and it's super super important. I feel when to use all the time as valuable yeah, as you can. Yeah, very much. So. Last week I went to Margate. That Did you? Nice. <laughs> I haven't been there since I was a that kid. That was a lovely <laughs> afternoon. It was great. Did that you go on the a... Helter Skelter? No, I just took my bike <laughs> right. and I saw there's like f uh, cycle paths along by the sea with oh, no cars. Wow. It was Brilliant. awesome. Yeah. So I just like, so I, I looked at the nice, you know, I looked at the weather forecast. Oh, yeah. nice day. No rain in Margate. I'm going for a day. Yeah, afternoon. that's good. It's really nice, important yeah. help. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, thank you. That's been really yeah, cool. Good. Yeah, good. Nice. Thank you very much.